Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Hey, we did a thing. If For those of you who have been following along, we did a thing. We did a big thing. We did a really big thing. <laughs> and this is, this is the... Uh, this is the workup outing. We've been we've been camping at Whitney for I don't know four days now, figuring out how to how to fit into this new motor home. And man, it is move, moving is never fun. <laughs> I didn't do a proper introduction for the for the video where tour of the new motor home. We felt that we had kind of not necessarily outgrown the Vesta. The Vesta kind of got small on us. We're looking to do longer journeys. Needed some a little more space to work remotely. We felt that this this right here gives us the uh, all of the things that we need. Without rambling on, here is my walkthrough video. It's gonna be a long one. Just bear with me to the end because I have an announcement to make. So stay with me. This is the Thor Magnitude RB34 super c if you've been following along for a while you know that we've been looking uh we've had our eyes open looking for the next motor home this is a new floor plan and as soon as we saw it we wanted it <laughs> it's like okay let's let's talk about why first it's built on the F550 chassis. That's right. It's a diesel. 6.7 liter, third generation of that power plant. It is a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> but we weren't, you know, we. It's not like we're going to be doing a whole lot of off roading. There's not a lot of ground clearance. Uh, but, you know, that'd be nice to have if you get into a soft spot. It wasn't an option it was it just came with this floor plan it's got an armless awning i'm not a big fan of those since we lost ours in the mountains uh, but this one's a little different configuration so maybe it'll work out better we really like that it's a mid-entry under the awning so that we don't get rain blowing in on the end plenty of storage i'm going to do a walkthrough and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that nobody else has shown because I couldn't find it. I spent weeks looking at, at videos and pictures of this floor plan. And there was, there was just stuff. And I'm like, well, what, what's there? And no one was showing me that. It's got two great, two nice storage compartments on this side. This one is really spacious. All the storage compartments have got a light. And that is controlled from the central control module. As you can see, this is a pass-through. It is wide enough that the two lawn chairs will lay side by side. And this compartment is long enough that the table will lay in here lengthwise. Now, I'm still playing the Tetris game, figuring out where everything is going to go. So, you know, that that's... That's on the agenda for the next two days. I have an outdoor entertainment center, the TV and a sound bar. I'll probably use it once or twice. Here's where our propane and leveling system is found. Good big tires. They run at about 100 PSI. Now this is a smaller but it also and this is where the this small store space is also where you have your your black and gray tanks outdoor water fill here and man we're going to talk about that when we get inside there's something you need to be aware of the 
outdoor kitchen. It actually ought to be the outdoor beverage center. I mean, it's a little refrigerator and a freezer. You can make ice cubes. That's a sump sink. So as you run water in it, you have to pump it up into the gray tank, which I think that's just absurd. At least it's not the basin sink. I hate those basin sinks. Then we have outdoor propane connection which comes in handy if you're cooking outdoors with propane. And I'm not gonna climb on the roof because I'm tired, but on the roof, there is a 100 watt solar panel, a fantastic fan, and two, that's right, I said two AC units to keep you cool when it's hot. Uh, and it is a membrane roof. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking to get into one of these, be advised, this is a two and a half inch receiver. So for us to tow the little white truck, I've got to get an adapter. And it also is quite a bit higher than the C was. So I've got to step down. I got six inches to step down. That's on order. 50 amp service. Another big pass through area here. It's actually not a pass through, but it is, it's the full width of the coach up to the back of the kitchen. Big heavy 50 amp cable. This actually lights up when, you connect it, when you're connected to power. It's a dual tank diesel, 30 and, 30 and 40. So this is the main, the large tank, the 40 tank. So it pulls out of the front tank first until it drops down about almost three quarters and then it starts to pull out of the rear tank and drains that and then switches back to the front tank. And that is because the, the generator runs off of the front tank. Here's our wet bay. And I like the way this is set up. So our, out, our, our fresh water in is here. It's not inside the the wet bay, that gray or gray and black, and a little shower here to rinse that off. Now you, I guess you could rinse off out here as as well. It's tall enough for that until you pull the slide out, and then the slide is going to block that. Another great storage compartment. It's got that pass-through shelf. And that's big enough for the, the little red trailer to go in there. Now, while I'm back here, can't really see it, but there is a rear, there are torsion bars both front and rear. So it, it doesn't feel like you're gonna fall over when you go around a curve. We have a generator. 6,000 watts of generator. Uh, and they, Thor says that's more than enough to power both AC units and the microwave. There's our forward diesel furnace, insta heat hot water heater. It's a, it's a Girard, a Girard insta heat hot water heater. There's a lot of people that are complaining about the Girards. And, and not working like they are expected. Of course, it's a, it's a learning curve. But the, the trick is to make sure you have 50 to 60 PSI. Get a, get a pressure regulator that you can control. This is also where you put in your def. Another forward compartment. This is the other side of that big pass through. And I'm, uh, this is the, gonna be the box and chocks. Now the, it's got the, the side view cameras on it. There's also a rear view camera. And that side view camera, I wasn't a big fan of the side view cameras I had in, in the Vesta, but these, this is actually the angle that you, the view you get from that camera. Right there, you can see out here. 
I really like it. Keyless entry, we, we're really, really liking having the keyless entry. The generator is back here. The exhaust is here. So when you're inside, you don't hear that generator. There is a step up. And on, on the Vesta, I always bump my head on that cab over. I, I haven't bumped my head on this one yet. We got wing walls. And this may or may not make an impact with aerodynamics. I, I don't know. It is a power back and forth. It's a four-way power seat. Up, down, back, forward. You got an air inflate for the lumbar and then the back of the seat is manual. It is a tilt and telescope, but it doesn't telescope very far on the steering wheel. The pedals are adjustable. If you've got really short legs, like Yappy, you can pull that forward. It does have the Ford Sync system. I'm not gonna go into, into detail about that. Power windows, power mirrors. These are power and heated. These are not, you have to manually adjust these. Uh, and it's manual fold. But they stick way out there. The rear view camera, the rear camera, uh, it actually serves as a rear view mirror. You can actually see a lot. It's just like a regular mirror. All right, inside. Let's go take a look inside. And as we go in the door, there's a couple things to notate or to note. This is this is the battery compartment. There's two AG, two batteries in there. They're AGMs. I'm pretty sure they're AGMs. I haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to them. But there's enough space in this battery compartment to put at least four regular size batteries or four big batteries several big batteries there's enough room in there to get lots of power here on the side we have a step control the main power now there's not a knob to turn power on and off you do it through here and the inverter so that's your on and off for the main power and then you turn on the inverter this is the Zan the 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 power controller this is a Zantrax inverter and then this our solar controller we found an issue when we got to camp because we bought we picked this up in Conroe and we camped at the Kegel recreation area that night because we didn't want to drive all the way home uh, that was not the step would not stay out I took that off yesterday and found that it was a wire was unplugged from the back. Lighting control here. Uh, there also is the all-in-one system. Everything is controlled from right there. From your, your generator, to your slide, to your lights. You can turn all your lights on or you can go in and specifically turn on some turn off some now I have the generator running and you, you can barely hear it the air conditioner on the cab is about as loud of course I've got it running wide open now one of the things that we really like about this layout let's do this first We're going to go ahead and open up the slide. It, it's not as fast as Miss V. but it's 
a, it's a different mechanism that's supposed to be uh, less problematic. All right, what we really liked about this is that big shade right there, that big automotive windshield. Now we're a fan of the Class C for a number of reasons. One is we don't like to be first on the scene of an accident. We want we want something between us and the front. So the pickup, the Super Duty chassis gives us that. We've got airbags, a side curtain, and overhead as well as in the dash. So we're, we're in a safer place here than we would be if we were driving an A. We like this f Super C configuration. It's just like driving the pickup, literally, with a couple of exceptions. And we're gonna get into that shortly. But literally, it's, it's like driving the pickup. It's as comfortable to drive as the pickup. And it has all your Super Duty stuff. It's even got the upfitter switches there. It's got a motion sensor alarm, uh, which you have to disable otherwise when you walk in the, the coach, if you've locked the doors with the key fob, it'll set off the, the, the horn. A little bit of a challenge to get in and out of the seats, but that, that was less of a priority for us than having that safety envelope around us. We also like the C because we can close off the, out, the windows outside and the dogs cannot see the neighbors and bark non-stop, which is where this comes into play. Because typically with, with C's, you don't have a whole lot in the way of windows. But, we, but we've got a, a, a pretty bright room. This is actually a queen size bunk. It's, it's the lowest in the industry, according to what they all say. Uh, and there's a curtain for privacy, and there's actually a ladder if you want to get up in there. We don't, we rarely have company, so uh, I've stored the, the ladder inside home base. Now the TV is, it's a 40 inch TV, 42 inch TV. It is on a swing arm. And what, what the, that's as far as it goes because it's a fixed swing, which kind of, if you're sitting in the recliner, which is not really a recliner, but that, that's your view of the TV. So we're looking straight ahead at the dinette is slightly up and to the right so it's not too awful awkward the recliner it's it's a limited recliner and it's definitely not for tall people see it doesn't the back doesn't shift down very far and my feet hang off quite a bit Works out okay for Yappy, but for me it's it's a little small. We really like this dinette. It converts into a bed very easy, which just become kind of an industry standard now. You have the little lever that you flip back and forth, and then you just push down on the table. The bench seats both have drawers, but you'll notice that's not much of a drawer and that's a lot of a bench. So we take that up. Now this, this originally had two screws in it, but being inquiring mind that I am, I took them out and I found, oh hey, looky there. I've got more storage. There's also a seat belt. There's a seat belt on both sides. And then there's a tether point for a car seat. So if you're traveling with little ones, you can strap them into place. I 
and there you go there's there's so much storage in here now i'm not exactly sure what we're going to do that we have space on both ends both sides of the dinette uh, for storage if we need it I'm, and that means if we need it because there's a whole lot of storage in this there's a the self-leveling the, the leveling system is up here just so you know and it's i've had to reprogram the brain because i'm used to having all the controls in one place so we've got some controls down there we got a main control here and then we got the leveling system over here a drop down leaf in the kitchen yappy is happy with her new kitchen gives her all the space she needs and then there's two it's a, it's a dual bowl stainless steel sink for washing your veggies and your dishes. You got a sprayer. And then there's a convection microwave. Now we were carrying an induction plate with us. We no longer have to carry that. This is an induction and gas. So we have the best of both. Now, when we purchased this the first night, we found water leaking out of the drain so none of the fittings on the drain were tight uh, so i spent quite a bit of time yesterday sorting that out and then we have pots and pans your furnace and your insta heat hot water heater are under here so the furnace is under the stove and the insta heat is over there three receptacle power tower we're on this side. Yappy's loving that pantry. This, this is as deep as my arm. So I'm touching the back wall right there. So there's two big cabinets and then all these drawers. Residential refrigerator. Well, we really like that. We had the bolt we had to screw in. Big old refrigerator. Why do we need a refrigerator outside? Look at all the space in this one. It's huge. And then down here, we have another big drawer. I had to work on the, the latch. See, so the, the latch is not catching for whatever reason. So I have to spend some time. I spent about an hour on that yesterday. We have a bunk bunkhouse setup. That actually converts into a hanging closet. But for us, we're gonna do do derby camera gear and dog kennel. And then we have an extra bunk there for dog kennels or guests. Sometimes Yappy gets up in the middle of the night. Cause it's a cause I toss and turn. It's my fault. I admit it. I toss and turn. In the, in the bathroom, we have a corner shower, plenty of elbow room, definitely a lot of height. Uh, one thing we're not a big fan of is to turn the water off, you have to turn it here. We don't have a, a knob to turn off. It's either turn it off there or turn it off there, and, and then you gotta figure it all out. The Insta Heat water heater. Here's the, the trick with the Insta Heat. Set your water temperature here, figure out what temperature you like it, set it here, and then when you're in the shower, just turn it all the way to hot. Don't try to don't try to manage your temperature in the shower. Manage your temperature in the panel. Vanity, the medicine cabinet. Not, a, not as much counter space in here as what we had but it's sufficient enough now i bought the because there's not any place to leave our our bottles of shampoo i bought this it's command strip but they won't stick to the plastic so i gotta find a solution to that I, I don't know how they stuck that one light controls in here that's also the the fan turns on and off here but you still have to crank that open so Yappy's not actually able to reach that without a, a step stool. 
and there's no and there's no rain cap on that so we'll be adding that so we, we can just leave it cracked open now there is a nightstand here that Yappy can can use when she's getting dressed all right here we have the king I mean the queen size master uh, the the mattress is is okay uh, we've put a foam topper on it uh, and that'll that'll help keep it more comfortable we got quite a bit of storage above and beside and one of the things that people are not showing you is that that's actually a shirt closet and then this one down here that's really deep and I'm gonna try to put some uh, a, a rod in there so that can be a shirt closet as well and you're probably wondering, why is that well when we turn around over here you'll see this you know the louvers that means washer dryer so this is a washer dryer prep that's right washer dryer prep we have a drain and supply in here for a washer dryer combo so I don't have to dismantle that outdoor kitchen to put in the washer and dryer but there's other reasons to dismantle it uh, we've got two big drawers down there two drawers here and two drawers there so we've got got a, we've have sufficient drawer space for just the two of us and then we've got the hidden compartment behind the TV. Uh, there's light controls back here as well. Now there's not any storage under the bed. What is under the bed is the water tank, the fresh water tank, and all of your various components. There's the transfer switch here, and then there's the, the the electrical panel, the back side of that. All, all your stuff comes together here. Now, over, right over here, where that green and white stripe, that's the in the fresh water fill from outside. And then on this side of that, the little white thing, that's the air vent. So as the water flows into this tank, it vents back out in that same fill portal and that fitting for that vent it spun weld into this tank if you're buying an RV make sure they fill your fresh water tank all the way up and you check for a leak where that spun weld is this is the second RV we've purchased where we have a leak right there I was assured when we picked this up Saturday that this had been inspected but it it, it had not uh, the hot water heater hot water heater bypasses were still in effect so we didn't have any hot water when we got to camp we should have checked that I know it's on us we bought it we let them rush us we, we, we knew better but you know in the moment we just we were just so excited and I knew to check that and I intended to check that but I didn't check that uh, but I did fill it with water yesterday morning before we made the four hour drive home and when we arrived home I noticed that there was water splashed over everything so as I was breaking that water was pushing up against that bulkhead and squirting out of that hole Fortunately, that's covered under the manufacturer's warranty. It's just a pain in the butt to, to get that rectified. So all in all, so far, the things that I've had to correct, I've, I've put some, some waterproof tape on there to minimize until we can get the warranty repair work. I had to sort out the leaks in the drain. I had to figure out why the hot water was not working, and that's because there's two valves on the back side of that water heater. Um, the, this door 
wouldn't shut because that striker plate was in the wrong place. That drawer won't stay shut because the little catch keeps messing up the step the step power switch wasn't working. So I think that pretty well covers it all. Uh, that so far that that covers everything. That covers all the the things that we've had to contend with so far. I'm sure there'll be more. That's part of buying an RV. Regardless, we are ecstatic about the new motor home and the many adventures that we are going to have. The many long adventures that we're going to have we got plans but i'm not going to disclose any of those right now so there it is we have not yet landed on a name yet we're still working on that just mostly getting moved back in because everything that was in the other one is now in the house hey i sure appreciate you stopping by on our the tour of our new coach the sv34 magnitude by thor we're loving it. it it drives freaking awesome if this was fun and entertaining or educational i'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and sharing me across your social media most of all i want to say thank you for watching so now you've seen this great fantastic rv machine built by thor motor coach this is a this is a hoss man it it does it 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 pulls that f-150 like it wasn't even back there man you, you don't even know it. and it drives just like a pickup uh with the exception of the suspension and i'm gonna make some corrections to that and you'll see those videos coming up but what do we call it that's that's the big question and the the day we picked it up we actually spent one night in it down at kegel recreation area and we were playing or kicking around some you know just being silly about it and yappy said well why don't we call it thunder like, hey thunder thunder the barbarian yeah that that is cool but it left me wondering you know it just didn't come across as i don't know homely warm and fuzzy but it got me to thinking okay thor was the god of thunder in in north norse mythology was he a single entity or was he a family unit what was i started digging into the norse mythology and i found that thor actually had a daughter and her name was trud t-r-u-d trud thor's daughter thor's daughter trud thor's daughter trud in anglic the trudge doesn't you know i'm not norse so that doesn't roll off the tongue very well but in english that is translated into trudy so hey we're gonna we're gonna call this beast shall be christened trudy thunder trudy thunder there so meet trudy thunder there you go. All right. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. And for those of you who have been following along, we all thank you. Yappy, myself, the Ratty Pack, Trudy Thunder, Little Red, and the Little White Truck. I guess I got to come up with something for the Little White Truck. Maybe Tonto. I don't know. We'll see. I'll kick that around. What do y'all think? What, what do you... So going with the Norse mythology, Tonto doesn't really work out. But Tonto always followed the little ranger, the Lone Ranger. So Tonto always followed the Lone Ranger everywhere he went. Oh, uh, anyway, y'all give me some feedback on that. All right, I'm rambling. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now. You hear?